Hello, my name is Adriana Teodoro Dyer. I am a tarot based life consultant and I have a message today for the earth signs. This is for Capricorn, Aqu Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. So the energy around you this week, we've got the Knight of Swords. Now, this is an interesting kind of energy. This Swords tend to be very concerned with right or wrong, but when this Knight gets involved, things get a little bit chaotic. Um, he's kind of one that likes to go after what he perceives as negativity with a very blunt sword, but he doesn't have the diplomacy and the softness and the sensitivity to really deliver his message well. So what I mean is that when this card shows up, there's kind of chaos that forms because he goes against feelings. He's very, he's very head driven. He goes against feelings. He just goes after what he thinks he needs to do. And a lot of times situations arise that are very dramatic. Now you're feeling a different way. You're going to feel like the ace of wands. Now this is the start of creative projects of passion of self love. So while this guy's going around creating his drama swirling all through the air, you're really in touch with your heart and you're really in touch with that sense of creativity and the new things you want to have come into your life. Now, what I feel like this is going to pan out for some of you in is that you're going to have an idea or you're going to have a desire. And because it's it's baby, you know, ace is the start. It's a baby. It's not fully formed. Either there's going to be someone outside of you or it's going to be your own negative thoughts that are just going to want to shut it down. So you're thinking, you know, I really want to try this. or I really want to go here. I really want to make this. And that, that person either outside or inside of you says, nope, you can't. That's not good enough. Can't do that. We're not going to do that. And so your advice this week is very, um, it's very apropos of those two cards. We've got the seven of wands, death going into the hermit. Now, what this means is that you need to stand up and protect that poor little creative spark, this tiny little piece of fire that wants to grow. Fire can only grow if you fan it. And if you blow it out too quickly, like that Knight of Swords wants to do, it dies, right? So you've got to protect it. You have to shelter it from those negative thoughts, either from yourself or from other people. Because this creative project is part of your growth. It's part of your transformation. That's what our death card is. We're not talking about literal death here. It's part of you becoming who you are. And it's part of your higher self. That's what our hermit is representing here. It's the higher road. So the creative process often opens up parts of ourselves that we didn't know existed before. And it's so healthy for your soul. It's so healthy for your inside to be involved in creativity because that's what we're here to do. We are creative beings. And you could see that you could think of it as procreation. You can think of it as um, just everything we do is creative. Every relationship we make, every piece of art, every inter interaction we have, any music we play, anything we do is really a creation. And so what your heart is telling you to create, you need to protect and you need to go with because that's exactly where your soul wants you to go right now. So just be aware of those naysayers either within you or outside of you. Let them do their thing, but don't let it stop you. Just keep going because this little thing that's stirring in your heart is going to grow into something much bigger than it seems. So I hope that this was very helpful to you or <laughs> at least helpful. Um, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I do also do personal one-on-one -on -one readings. If you're interested, you can check out my website below. And, you know, a little commercial plug. This is Valentine's Day month. This is a great time to look at couples. I also do couples readings, relationships readings. So if you're interested, just get in touch below and have an awesome week.